the national park of Itatiaia is not famous precisely for its tortoises. The mountain that is missing from Amazonia is right here, beaming and haughty. It spreads its mountainous nature throughout three states that are far away from the Amazon River, Minas Gerais, Rio de Janeiro, and Sao Paulo. We have come to this national park because it was the first one to be established in Brazil in 1937, precisely because of its varied flora and its beautiful landscapes. The majority of its vegetation is endemic. It cannot be found anywhere else in the world. And the São Canelas, the Sempre Vivas, the Ipes, and the Capreúvas upholster this park that has 30,000 hectares of unaltered nature. Itatiaia has a forest that is only 70 meters above sea level, with rocky crests that reach an altitude of 2,787 meters. This park is not lacking in orchids, some of which are small, adapting themselves to the low temperatures that are reached above the 2,000 meter level and living associated to lichen and moss. Other species develop their chromatic creativity on the leaves of the large trees that, as you can see, give a generous touch of color similar to that of its Amazonic kin. The orchids found in the National Park of Itatiaia are considered among the botanists to be one of the most beautiful of its kind in the world and we quite agree. In the indigenous Tupi Guarani language, Poranga means beauty. And that is how this valley is called, the Poranga Valley. Itatiaia is a tangle of fountains and waterfalls that are kept in perfect condition. An enclave ideal for finding oneself, especially when one lives in a large city of over 20 million inhabitants, like Sao Paulo, just 258 kilometers from this tranquility. Primitive animals also take advantage of this landscape for some peaceful living. This iguana of the Sinimbu species is one of them and has come down from the trees to cool off by the shores of the Rio Bonito, or Pretty River, another of the riverbeds that sweeten Itatiaia. The good tourist who comes to this national park will have to be satisfied with watching it from afar without them noticing, and that is precisely what we do. The large waterfall inside this national park washes the crags with 40 meters of turbulent water. It's called the Velo de la Novia, the Bride's Veil, and is a leap that the visitor will not forget in a lifetime. Among other reasons, because in order to get here, it will have been necessary to walk through a path of one and a half kilometers. But if you want something, you have to work for it. Itatiaia is a national park that is crossed by five rivers of interesting and exotic names and appearances. The Prieto River, the Maromba, the Marimbondo, the Flores, and the Ayuroca drink and shade for a grateful fauna. Three hundred and sixty bird species inhabit Itatiaia, and of these, the Beja flores are the most frequently seen. Some types of hummingbirds are endemic to this place, as are the flowers from which they feed. With a perimeter of one hundred and ten kilometers. 
This pioneer of the Brazilian national parks is considered a treasure chest in which the most precious gems of the fauna and flora are kept, forming a part of an ecosystem about which very little is known, the Atlantic Mata. The summer weather here is gentle, and the clouds take a liking to this place. Many of these creatures will never be seen by the hundreds of tourists that visit Itatiaia each year. They are protected by night's cloak. But that's what we and our patient sense of naturalism are here for, so that you can enjoy the image of a medium-sized hunter with a quick metabolism and a very bad temper. The jupara, a procyoninos that walks on all fours like bears, is very rarely filmed, an animal that finds one of its last strongholds in the sacred woods of Itatiaia. It has a long prehensile tail and a voracious appetite. It is just one of the 67 mammal species that reproduce in Itatiaia, and one of the reasons that justify the creation of this national park. Everyone around here fears the volcano's anger. We're in the Emas National Park, and in 1988, a storm such as this one caused a fire that destroyed 60% of the park. But everyone must continue with their lives in spite of fear. In today's chapter, we are searching for contrasts, and none stands out better than this one. The concentration by square meters of the white ants nests is the largest on the whole planet. This amount of ants nests all lined up can't even be found in Africa, forming a landscape of their own and a watchtower. This landscape is one of the particular features of a national park that has wide horizons, The monumental work done by the insects gives it a lunar aspect that many take advantage of to grow and multiply, like these Corushas buraqueiras, firmly posted. The anteater has a less functional and much more beautiful name, Tamandua bandeira, and this nearsighted termite eater is a stately banner. It can open the ant's nest with its front claws. The tamandua bandeira has a tongue that is a meter long, bad hearing, and even worse eyesight. But it has a great sense of smell. Emas National Park is considered by the Brazilian experts in environmental studies to be one of the most fragile units of conservation in the country. The purest hectares of South American tropical savanna that we can dream of is protected here, with a fauna and flora typical of other ecosystems that are distant from the Amazonia, but of great value, such as the Cerrado. Created in 1972, this park is as smooth as the palm of a gigantic hand, in which a threatened fauna lives, varied and easily observed by all who enter. <laughs> 